If you've ever wanted to take your dog on a canoe trip with you, let me assure you that it's one of the most rewarding experiences that you can share together with your dog. That being said, some preliminary preparatory work ahead of time will ensure that the experiences unfold in a much smoother way. Hi, I'm Jason Shute from Shute Balance Dog Training. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you the process that I use to habituate dogs to canoes in preparation for backwoods canoe trips. In the case of my own dog, Pacho, I started this process about two months ahead of our first scheduled canoe trip together. Apart from the actual mechanics of getting your dog habituated to the canoe, there are several other aspects that I think are worth your consideration when preparing your dog for canoe trips. The first one is that water safety is paramount. So you will need to get your dog habituated and comfortable wearing a flotation device or a life jacket of some kind. That's a requirement. Two, a lot of people don't consider this piece, but a lot of dogs have a hard time settling in tents. So if you're camping in a tent, you may want to get your tent out a couple of weeks ahead of time, set it up in the backyard, and get your dog comfortable relaxing in the tent, hang out in there with them, do some reading, let them eat some food in there, and just kind of promote a nice relaxed headspace on the dog's part while they're in the tent. Third thing you should consider here is that a lot of people like to get their dogs carrying their own food and supplies. There is a gradual and incremental physical conditioning that you will need to do to get your dog used to bearing extra weight in a pack type context. If you're doing that, you need to be starting well ahead to get your dog physically prepared for that type of stress. I personally carry all my dog's food and supplies. I use the portages as an opportunity for my dog to simply cruise around, relax into the environment, burn off a little energy, and therefore getting the dog to be in a more relaxed, comfortable zone for the next stage of the paddle. Once you've done some of your prep work up to this point, you're now ready to progress to the dry land training. Get your dog used to going in and out of the canoe safely on land first. Adding verbal cues for in and out of the canoe will be helpful here. For the purpose of stability, get your dog comfortable lying down and settling in the canoe before you head out on the water. For the first time out with your dog in the canoe, Pick an easy body of water that isn't too deep or fast flowing and keep it short and sweet. Increase duration and frequency of the paddle as your dog's comfort level in the canoe also increases. Don't forget to be patient and have fun with this aspect of training with your dog. This way you can enjoy your canoeing adventures and soak in all the beauty of our lakes and rivers. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Let me know in the comments about your own canoeing adventures and experiences with your dogs. Stay safe, have a lot of fun, see you in the next video.